mass trauma there. There were some limb severings. Many died of broken necks. It was very gruesome. Historian Jim Sturgeon has studied the Kingsland interurban wreck. But that's all the victims right there. The tragedy is remarkably well documented, and it's hard to believe it happened more than 110 years ago. It was the worst loss of life in Wells County at one time, and it was also the worst interurban accident in the United States. The date? September 21st, 1910. The destination? The Allen County Fair. An interurban was an electric railway, and there was a quite a large number of them crisscrossed Indiana and some other states from about the 1900 era or time frame until about 1940. The crews would pull up to a siding or a train stop in a town and they were supposed to call the dispatcher and get their orders if they were supposed to be waiting on a siding for another car to pass. The fidelity of a phone back in 1910 was not that high. It would have been easy to misunderstand directions. And mistakes could quickly turn disastrous. So with the curve and the grove of trees on the east side of the tracks, you could not look directly north on the interurban line. It and the southbound train's view of each other was blocked. It telescoped into the northbound car and went inside the car and basically the 40-odd people that were in that car were pushed back into a space about the third of the size of the original length of the car. Soon, people packed the crash site, helping in any way they could. Doctors from both Bluffton and Austin came to the wreck site, and one doctor from Bluffton, a Dr. Cook, also found his brother among the dead in the wreckage. One family it was documented, went back home and got all the bed clothes they had on their beds. The bodies needed to be covered until they could be dealt with. With two other deadly interurban accidents in Indiana that same week, something had to change. The calling in of orders and writing them down was a flawed system, prone to misunderstanding. They moved more into what the block signaling system on a mainline railroad is by 1912, and that came down from the state level. A piece from that wreck would become a frame to photos of all of the victims, including two taken posthumously and one illustration. Remember the people that were in it, and there was that loss of life in our county, which would have been huge at the time or any other time.